No, I was watching that, Sophie. Guys, I just had a great idea. What? Let's plan a holiday. Okay, so these are the rules. We pick the places that we want to travel to and we circle them with a red marker on the map. And then we'll pick our favourite. Okay, I'll go first. Why don't we go swimming with fishes in the largest coral reef in the world? It's larger than the UK, Holland and Switzerland combined. And it's also the most colourful place in the world. The Great Barrier Reef, right Ned? That's the one. What do you think Jay? I just looked it up. It's more like the Vanishing Barrier Reef. Half of it disappeared in the 27 years. You're going to get no GoPro footage from today, bro. Okay, well, what about India? I've always wanted to see the Taj Mahal. India sounds great and, you know, Jake could be our tour guide, of course. <laughs> Funny, bro. My dad actually visited Taj Mahal recently. He said he felt sorry for our generation because it wasn't the same as it used to be when he last saw it. Apparently, it's deteriorating from all the pollution, the river's drying up, it will make it all worse, it won't be accessible to anyone near the future. How about we go on a topical getaway to the crystal blue waters, the white sandy beach of the Maldives? Yes! No! Save it for your honeymoon, bro! No, bro, you don't understand. The Maldives is only four feet above sea level. It could be completely submerged underwater by the time it's my honeymoon. Just thinking about marriage just gives me the chills. But the situation is so bad that the government is buying land from other countries to move its people from the Maldives when it happens. Okay, how about China? You know, we could see the Great Wall, see some pandas, snow leopards, and we can take a cruise down the third largest river in the world, Yangtze. Oh Ned, that's also the most polluted river in the world. And I've got asthma. Guys. I'm getting breathless checking the air faces to all these places. Oh great, so by the time we can actually afford to go to these places, then all these natural wonders will be gone. Okay, why don't we do something closer like... Skiing in the Alps, hmm? Yes, I've never been skiing before, it sounds so fun! It's a lot of money, but it's totally worth it. We might never get to go skiing in the future. The Eps are on track, are losing this ice and snow in our lifetime. Okay, well, what about Venice? It's romantic, it's got great architecture. We can go to St. Mark's Square and we can take a ride down the canal. Venice sounds good, but Mr. J over here, he's probably going to say steamed, right? <laughs> Thank you, psychic Ned. It's an option, but not for long. Apparently, this city will be inhabitable by 2100. Now it floods a hundred times a year. It sucks for the next generation. Oh, well, we have to carefully pick where we want to go because some of these things might not be here in the future. Oh, is there anywhere on earth we can go that's not being, you know, affected by climate change or global warming or whatever the hell they call it? Yeah. A pub? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's go.